up to this point, I've showed you how to do uh, work in R using what are called R script files. So these are files that end in .R. Now, what I mentioned before in the initial video is that the, one of the really key uh, features of R is R markdown, which enables you to go from uh, data import to final report all in one tool. Let me actually kind of take what I've done so far and put it into an R markdown document and show you how this works. So I've actually created a, an R markdown document here, 04-report. Uh, and you can see it's got several sections. Um, so at the top, I'm not going to go into all the details, but this is called the YAML. It's basically the uh, metadata about our um, document, so title, author, etc. Uh, the sections that are grayed out are code chunks. Um, this is where you would run code. And you can see I've had some code chunks here where I'm going to run code. And here, um, this is just setting, again, some options for our, um, our, our Markdown document. And again, not going to go into the details, um, but if you're interested in learning, I definitely recommend it. So um, to run our markdown, we're going to need to first copy a bunch of this code here. So we need to load packages that we want to use. So I've copied this library tidyverse and library janitor. We also need to import our data in the same R markdown document. So here I have uh, import, uh, I'm going to import my NHANES data frame. And now the way it works is this. So let's say, for example, I want to um, write a report where I'm showing um, some summary stats. Um, so um, I would, could start out, um, so I've copied this code here, this NHANES where I summarize and got the mean hours of sleep. Uh, and I'm just going to add some text here. And I'd say, um, we began our report by looking at average hours of sleep per night. And now, after I add some text, I'm going to add a code chunk. You can do that by either hitting uh, insert R code chunk or uh, using keyboard shortcuts, um, which I, is mostly what I use. So if you see me add any code chunks later and you don't know how I did it, that's how I did it. Um, so we begin, we began our report by looking at average hours of sleep per night. So I'm going to copy my code here. And then I am going to also um, show these cross tabs. So I'm going to say we also uh, made a cross tab to look at, uh, what was it? gender and physical activity. So again, I'm adding a code chunk. I did that with a keyboard shortcut, and then I'm adding my code here. So now I have a combination of text here and here, for example, and then I have some code which is going to produce some analysis. What you do with our markdown is when you have everything ready to go, you hit this knit button, or again, there are keyboard shortcuts, um, and that will actually produce your report. After I knit my report, I now have a file here, 04-report.docx. I can open this up and you can see I now have, uh, it says sample report because that was my title here. It's got the author. And then this text, we began our report, etc., is from here. And then this is the analysis that I did. So you can see this is where it, we're seeing mean sleep and where we're seeing, uh, for example, our cross tab. Now, if we want to make the output a bit nicer to look at, we can add a line down here. I'm going to add this knitter cable line, um, which is a function to make uh, more attractive tables. Now I'm just going to hit knit again, and I can open back up my report.docx uh, file and you can see now I'm getting a more attractive table and of course there's a lot more we could do to make it even more attractive and we could do some similar things here um, but hopefully you get a sense that you can simply make some changes in your code renit and then you um, can get an updated uh, version of your report one of the other major benefits with our markdown is that if your data changes you simply can renit 
So for example, I have opened up uh, the CSV file of my nHANES data. And let's say I realize that, you know what, the first uh, 3,700 or so observations were, were mistakes. They should not be there. So let me just delete those. I'll save that. Yeah, I keep using CSV. So I'm going to re-knit this. Now I can open up my uh, .docx file again, and you can see, for example, mean sleep, which was 6.93 previously, is now 6.91 because that's what it was with our new data with the extra observations deleted. So you can get a sense of how you can simply rerun code and generate reports automatically based on the most up-to-date data. So don't just think of R as replacing whatever tool you currently use, be it Excel or SPSS or SAS or Stata. Using R Markdown, it really can improve the efficiency of your workflow such that you can do data analysis much more quickly, much more efficiently than you have before.